Hello, Flash Anime bringing you Railgun S24, the final episode of this really long running series. And yeah, let's just jump right into this one. Would be basically Miss Laka setting up her final, I guess, assault on Steady, who are gonna, you know, they're basically trying to destroy whatever academy, I guess, destroy Academy City, I think. I forgot what their end game was, but they were basically trying to show off their science experiments to everyone. And while Misaka's about to fight study, we have the entire, entire force of judgment working together to, like, just, I guess, protect certain areas of the city. And we have all these, like, judgment branches, like, working together as one unit. And even Satin and Iyoharu get in the action. And it was kind of cool watching that set up in the beginning. And while well, it's really Misaka, she basically arrives at this big stadium. And I guess they find out, she finds out that's where the the lab is that Shinobu's at and Janie's been, been kind of captive at. So she arrives there and has Febbly with her and she kind of like fights this massive wave of robot suits by herself with no problem. But she does get a little wore out because the science guy Haru kind of tells her that you have all this power but you know, there's one thing you can't do and you just increase your, like keep your stamina going. It's like eventually you'll get tired and wore out and then I'll, then we'll win. And to make matters worse, while she's fighting, all of a sudden these four massive robots, these white robots arrive, and even these black robots arrive in the city, and it gives the other people a hard trouble, hard time. And then we had, uh, you know, Misaka with these other white robots, and we find out that Study made uh, copies of uh, Meltdown's power. So these four little white robots use Meltdown's, like, laser beam attack. And they do shoot Ms. Laka, but she deflects it, and she's just like laughing about it because it's. She's like, this is a fake imitation. They can't compete against the real deal. And while she says that, beams fly through the robots and destroy them, and we see Meltdown with all her team of items sitting there. And they're like blown up robots, and not realizing they're actually helping Ms. Laka. But I think Ms. Laka kind of, you know, pulls some strings to get them to attack whatever they wanted to do. And while that's going on, while the other robots are attacking everyone, we have this giant, giant robot that Misuko, uh, basically, I guess, brought from her father. It's this massive, like, massive robot that she brought. And Satin and Yohara get into that, and they both kind of, like, destroy these machines like they're nothing. Because, I guess, last episode, Satin was actually studying the, I guess, manual for the robot, so she was studying how to pilot. It was kind of cool. And, um... Misaka eventually does break into the lab, and Haruyuki tries to kill himself with a he basically tries to shoot himself. And she stops him, and basically, she says some kind of speech, like, you know, she doesn't want anyone to get hurt, even the enemies, she'll say, if she doesn't want to see anyone get hurt for this. But before he, you know, tries to kill himself, he does set off an alarm to basically shoot a missile that would have blow up Academy City. And it's basically headed straight for the center of the city. Which is a coward's way of like, oh, we're all gonna die, so I'm taking you out with me. Kind of, kind of dumb, but he is a he's a villain, so yeah. Through all that, they save Janie. They wake her up with the help of Feverly and uh, Shinobu and Satin. They all kind of work together to wake her up. And you know, Misaka arrives with Kuriko, and both of them get inside the robot that Satin was piloting. And they kind of go through the stratosphere of this of Earth. It's kind of weird. And they're like not really breathing, which was a problem for most people because it's like wouldn't be wearing a spacesuit or something. But anyway, Misaka uses her powers to, I guess, use the robot, whatever's left of it, as a projectile. So she punches it and it blows the missile up and basically saves Academy City from being wiped off the map. And that was kind of nice, seeing the, how the action of that moment there. And near the end, we had Shinobu. Kind of like, I guess, getting ready to leave Academy City because she can't really stay there because of all the experiments that have been going on. And Ms. Saka's kind of talking to her, explaining to her like, what happened here and there. And we even had uh, Misaki, the little girl, can all the people's memories and minds and stuff. She actually helps cover up the stuff with Shinobu and study and the experiments and the robots and everything. So Ms. Saka kind of had to. I guess swallow her pride and actually talk to the the queen of academy, uh, queen of her uh, her school to get her to help her with this 
about trouble things she went through. So we have Feverly and Janie together with Shinobu, all three of them kind of lead. And near the end, more stuff, we had shots of like Accelerator with uh, Last Order at the hospital, which tells me we're in Index Season 2 territory. And we even had shot of Toma at the very, very end, kind of looking at the sky as the, you know, I guess Shinobu's plane takes off, whatever. And yeah, this whole episode basically for me in a nutshell was like 24 minutes of just awesome stuff going on. Non-stop action, non-stop, just awesome stuff going on. I really liked it. And the sad part is you have to wait for another season of Index before we get another real gun. But I'm fine with that because I don't really have a problem with uh, Index or anything like that. So yeah, overall the series was just was fun. We had some recap which people didn't like and of course this last arc was kind of a filler which isn't canon so a lot of people have issues with that regarding the storyline and plot with real gun but overall I give this series a 9 out of 10. You know like I said it had some flashback moments but kind of kind of killed it for me. I wanted a little bit more but we're seeing what happens in season 3 and hopefully this week I get index movie review out. I know it's late and delayed but trying to get some other friends to help me on that, so. But anyway, that's been Relk on S. Thanks for following and commenting on this ep series as I was reviewing it. So, maybe I'll see you for uh, Index season. We get one. See ya.